Hey everybody, Mike Guillaume, Toronto Sports Insider. Who signed for the Blue Jays? George Springer signed for the Blue Jays, the best free agent on the market in the 2021 offseason. Number one in terms of war. We'll talk about his war numbers uh, a little bit later on in the show. Also, the most coveted free agent signing of this offseason goes to Toronto. Yes, they paid a premium. We will discuss that as well. Uh, but what's next for the Blue Jays? Lots to talk about here. George Springer officially signs with the Blue Jays, pending the medical, of course. Uh, six years, $150 million. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below before uh, you know the end of this show as well. Hit the like button and... Uh, Turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of our awesome Toronto sports content. I was live last night with the uh, with the Raptors. A rough night for the Raptors there uh, against the Miami Heat. They ended up losing that game. But uh, I will be live again tomorrow night with the Edmonton Oilers visiting the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, doing a live stream reaction watch along party for that one. So... Back to George Springer, back to the Blue Jays. The reasons we're here. A crazy 24-hour spell for the Blue Jays in the offseason. Uh, reports that they were going to get Michael Brantley. Then reports saying, no, that's not true. Now he's going back to uh, going back to Houston. Two years, $16 million apiece. Uh, but George Springer, six years, $150 million, The number one free agent on the market this season. Uh, unbelievable signing by Mark Shapiro and Atkins. Ross Atkins, uh, the Blue Jays, they've always said since that ownership, since that management group came to town, they said, hey, we will spend the money when the timing is right. We have the money, we'll spend the money once we get good enough and once the other teams start to drop off a little bit. Well, the Red Sox have dropped off. The Yankees are dropping off little bit by little bit by little bit. They're getting older and not as good. The Blue Jays are getting older as well, but their players are getting better, not worse, like the Yankees. When you've got a lineup like Bo Bichette, uh, you know, a guy like Bichette in the lineup, Vlad Guerrero, now you add a George Springer in there, uh, that lineup is going to be one of the best in baseball, period. So George Springer, will look at some of his highlights here. Uh, you can see here's some uh, good, uh, you know, offensive home run with the Astros over the Angels. These highlights are from last season. Last season, excuse me, uh, but really a great player all around defensively, offensively, uh, and, and and in the clubhouse as well. Supposedly, he's a really great guy in the clubhouse, uh, and he has that postseason experience too. That is huge for the Toronto Blue Jays with this young squad that they have. Uh, so with that being said, all around a great signing for the Blue Jays. Yes, they had to overpay for him, but that's what you got to do when you're in Toronto. Everybody knows it. Uh, I was listening to Sportsnet 590 and uh, Brian Burke on the hockey side of things. When he was the GM for the Leafs, he was the GM as well for uh, for the Vancouver Canucks. He said, you know, there's there's a premium you have to pay. One, based off the taxes. Um, and, and that's just, I mean, that's just the, the government. There's nothing you can do about that. Uh, in Canada, the taxes are higher. That's what you get there uh, than in the U.S. So they have to pay the premium right off the bat for that. Then you've got the fact that these guys are in a different country. Uh, they got to go through customs, all that kind of stuff. But when a Toronto team is showing that they're going to go for it, the players end up coming. Uh, that's that's for sure. So George Springer, here's a great defensive play. We see long running catch uh, against the o Oakland Athletics. Great, uh, great play there. Here's another uh, double down the line, driving in some runs. Uh, just a great, great player. Overall, defensively in center field is going to be a huge improvement. Not only the bat, uh, which is one of the best in baseball, but uh, just a great, great signing there. So now when we look at, uh, at at what is next for the Blue Jays, obviously the next uh, the, the, the closest signing for George Springer was the Mets came in at six years, $125 million. So same term. But $25 million more, that Toronto premium we speak of. So uh, now when you look at what's next, they also did just sign Kirby Yates, uh, a relief pitcher, an all-star relief pitcher. They need help in the bullpen. They're seeming to be getting that help in the bullpen to shore that area up as well. Now it just comes down to starting pitching. Um, you know, what is that starting pitching going to look like? I would expect to see at least one more uh 
one more pitcher, a starting pitcher, be signed? Uh, could they get in on Trevor Bauer, the starting pitcher with a projected war of 4.1? Uh, he's looking for about five years, 110 million. Might be a bit much for for a guy like that, or te- uh, uh, excuse me, three years for 87 million. Again, really high. You're probably going to have to pay a premium to bring him to Toronto. Do you see how the market plays out, or do you splash the cash and go after a former uh, Cy Young winner, I believe, to kind of head this staff with with Ryu and uh, some of the young arms that the Blue Jays have? When you look at the uh, the lineup projection lineup for the Blue Jays, they've got George Springer, Kevin Biggio, Bo Bichette, Tiasca Her- Kern- Tiasca Hernandez, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Lourdes Gurriel Jr., Randall Grichuk, Rowdy Telez, and Danny Jansen. The only weak spots in that lineup is number eight and number nine. And Rowdy Telez is still a young up-and-coming hitter who probably will be a very, very good MLB baseball player once all is said and done. So uh, Danny Jansen, I mean, the the catching position, can he get an upgrade there? Probably. Um, Will we see it happen this season? Probably not with how stacked this lineup is. But it's the pitching that is there there's an opportunity uh you've got kind of the the six starters in the in the running you got uh, obviously Ryu number one he's your ace Robbie Ray Ross R- Stripling Nate Pearson Tanner Rourke and Tyler Chatwood all right in there we need to get some more pitching in my opinion but overall George Springer a great great signing for the Toronto Blue Jays this is going to help the Jays immensely uh, spring training starts in just over a month so uh, it's getting closer to Blue Jays time. We will be doing Blue Jays live stream reaction watch-alongs as well as bringing you news just like today. So make sure you guys subscribe down below and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our awesome Toronto sports content. You turn that notification bell on, you're going to get notified when we bring news out, when we bring our lives up for the games, all of that. So thanks, guys, for that. We'll talk to you all very, very soon uh, tomorrow night for the Leafs and the Oilers. Good night, everybody.